Hi everyone, and welcome to Spinal Roll Down to De-Stress. My name is Molly, thanks for hanging out today. So for this, we'll be focusing on our spinal movement and you're welcome to be standing for this. You're also welcome to grab a seat. For most of this, I'll be turned sideways so that you can see what's happening in my spine as we go, okay? Um, so to focus on how our spine can help us de-stress, let's talk about that for a moment. Uh, so with our spine, you can think about our spine all the way up through our spinal cord and into our brain. So we have this fluid around um, our spinal cord and our brain, our um, CSF, our um, cerebral spinal fluid, yeah? Uh, and when that's really in a state of flow, it's a way that our bodies can kind of bathe our nervous system and really uh, allow it to work in an optimal way. So sometimes if we're super stressed, maybe we don't feel like we're, we're flowing and we're going with all, this, all the stuff that might be coming up for us. Uh, this is a way that we can help to get some of that fluid happening in the body, help to take care of our nervous system and hopefully help to remove some of the stress or at least the stress response from whatever is happening outside of us, okay? So let's start with just being aware of our spine. So if you shake your head yes and no, that's the top of your spine. And you can go hands on with this as well. And just poke around back there gently and see if you feel down your spine. And maybe you're a little bit on either side of your spine. Just kind of give yourself a little neck massage, right? As you go down your spine. You can adjust as you need to. Let the, this tactile information help to bring some awareness to our spine. And we're going down the spine purposely so. Um, a lot of somatic practitioners, I'm thinking of um, Mabel Todd and ideokinesis, talk about the importance of going down our back as a way to soothe our nervous system. Right, so maybe we take another pass down with hands on down our spine, and we're curious about what's happening there, judgment-free, as we go down our spine, all right? And it eventually meets up at our sacrum, back of the pelvis, um, this little like triangle that hangs out right here, okay? So, thinking of our yes and our no, let your chin drop down, and let's just take a spinal roll down. So we'll do a bunch of these today. And so with a spinal roll down, we're thinking about rounding through our back and our lower body can do whatever we need to do. You can see already like my knees are starting to bend. So feel free to allow your knees to bend. As you roll down the spine, you can fold over as far as you want, whatever is comfortable for you. And then stack yourself back up, bringing yourself back up to stand. Okay, and we'll do this slowly. We'll take several roll downs with different uh, visuals. And so feel free to always pause or, or start over. You have control over this, okay? So next spinal roll down. You know those bleachers, like those like wooden ones in gymnasiums, like we've probably all tripped up at some point in our lives and like banged our shin. Um, right how those like they pull out and they slowly come all the way out yeah um think about that with your spine now think about it as those bleachers so thinking of each each segment of the spine it's like you're pulling out some of those bleachers sliding out and i have my hands on for this you don't have to i'm doing that more to show like where my visual is of each each part of my spine sliding out as I am folding over. And once we're all the way over, think about reversing it. You gotta push the bleachers back in. So then you can add maybe a little bit of hands-on, a little pressure if you want, as you start to push the bleachers back in at the base of the spine. And slowly pushing all the bleachers back in until we are upright again, all right? 
and notice if anything changed for you. Sometimes as we shift the visuals, it's able to tap into our body a little bit differently and we might find one is a little more impactful than another. Uh, so stay curious about it and make some mental notes, all right? This next one, we're gonna think about our digestive system. I'll turn forward as I talk about it first, right? So we've got our digestive system happening at the top here with our mouth, then we come down our esophagus. And then over here on the left side, this is where our stomach is and it goes into all of our intestines, right? So think about this time, um, think about the mouth first and this like relaxing that's happening with the mouth and that's kind of collapsing into the esophagus. And then we can think about the esophagus receding back as we begin to round over. We can think about our stomach over on the left side receding back. And then we've got all of our guts, our intestines that we spill over with. And then we stack ourselves up again in reverse. So we've got our intestines that are coming back up first, stacking them back up. We have our stomach that stacks on top there. Our esophagus stacks back up. And finally, our mouth sits on top. Notice how that spinal roll down went for you. Notice any new sensations or maybe something felt familiar. Maybe something unlocked that didn't before. And we'll do this one more time through, actually two more times, but one more with a specific visualization. So with this one, I'm thinking about our lungs, right? So our lungs, they're here. We've got our rib cage, if that's helpful, right? Maybe we go hands on for a second with our rib cage. We can feel the ribs and maybe breathe into that, right? Take a big inhale. Let there be an expansion and a contraction. Nice, everyone. Um, so with that, you can also think about breathing into the back body, breathing in and out. We can also go with one hand on your chest and one on your belly, breathing more into the front body. You'll be able to feel your diaphragm do a little more work here as you inhale and exhale. So now thinking about that exhaling that's happening as we go through our round down, our spinal roll down. All right, so start with an inhale. Then as you exhale, it's like deflating the lungs, deflating out like a balloon. And there's that collapsing, hollowing of the front body as you fold down. And then a big inhale of inflating this balloon, our lungs, as we come back up. Okay, so we'll take one more roll down together and let this be a visual of your choosing. All right, let pick a body system that works for you. Hold that in your mind's eye and let's take a roll down. All right, when you're ready, from the top of the spine, Moving all the way through the spine. All the way forward and down. And once you reach the base of your spinal roll down, go ahead and reverse it. Stacking everything back up. To stand. So hopefully this is one of those tools that you can have in your back pocket um, as anytime you're feeling a little overwhelmed, um, you're feeling like you're not able to cope with what's going on outside of you, take some time to do a few spinal roll downs. All right, choose the visualization that makes the most sense for you. Um, you might find that the bleachers works really well because it's super like solid and tangible and you can go hands-on and kind of feel that. So that's helpful to really ground you. That might be a time um, if you're feeling really anxious, that grounding might be a nice counter. Um, 
if you're feeling the need to, to really release and, and find some more fluidity, uh, the organs might work better for you. Um, so with that one, think about the lungs or the digestive system. And if you're feeling like you don't need that tactile grounding moment, go with the organs um, for more of that internal sensation, okay? Um, and you can do this seated at your desk. You can do it anytime, all right? Hope this helps. Um, take care of yourself. And thanks for hanging out.